Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Retro Shining Force. This is your boy, the Afro Lad, back at it again. So first things first, in the last episode, I didn't actually show it off, but I did it off screen. If you go back to the entrance of Runefaust, which is over this way, and you search right here where the yellow flowers are, you actually get a character. His name is Hanzo. He is a ninja. And he, he was just hiding in the brushes because you know, ninjas do ninja things. So he's in. There he is. Comes with a Doom Blade, level 10. Musashi has the better sword. But yeah, we have a ninja now. Apparently he's pretty good. But he's at the very, very, very end of the game. So I don't know how good is very good. But that's arguable. We're going to test it out though. Talk to you. Yep. I'm not ready to face the enemy. I wish to have Hanzo join the team. So, question is, who am I leaving? Oh. I want to say temporarily, I will be leaving Taurusu. That's it. We're, gonna, we're just going to go ahead and go. It's not even the hordes of Runefaust anymore. It's the hordes of uh, Dark Soul. So, we're getting into the last two battles of the game. So, we gotta go this way. If I could... Thank you. If I could just walk. Go here. Into the tower. Teleport. Up the stairs. Is there a way up this way? Yes. Here we go. <clears throat> Dark Dragon. Awake from your long sleep. The time has come for you to reclaim this land. Oh god, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Awaken, Dr. Dragon. Something is wrong. But two! Alas! You have meddled for the last time! Kill them, my servants! A tomb, you must stop Dark Soul before he completes his foul ceremony! Attack! Alright, here we go, boys. Oh man, I got enemies. Everywhere, huh? This is rough. I like that there's a new battle music and everything. All right, I, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know what direction they're going to move in. Are they going to come to me? Uh, or do I need to walk to them? Do I just need to kill Dark Soul? What's, what's the plan here, buddy boy? Are your dragons going to move? Does the mingle need to slap slap somebody? Is it the slapping? My ninja boy. Oh, here they come. They're starting to move. I've got a samurai and a ninja on the same team. I'm breaking the rules. All kinds of internet rules are being broken right about now. Oh, hey. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. All right, let's see, Hanzo. Oh, snap. Skyfall. Right, we just need to... We just need to blitz as fast as we can. No target. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to just ignore him now. All right, Hanzo takes a hit. That's fine. This is acceptable. Okay, Lyle's definitely dead. Goodbye, Lyle. Musashi's here. They're running backwards. That's okay. Yeah, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. That's fine. That's not fine. Leave Tao alone. That's the one person I don't want you hitting right now. Can I hit you with a bolt? I don't know if bolt does more damage to you, but we're gonna find out. Bolt! Yes, 14 damage. Nice. And I hit those the two over there. Okay, 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 okay. I can hit you. Only one damage, that's fine. This is acceptable. Who do I hit? This torch right here. There, there's one down. Another one. Bites the dust. Okay, Tao can evaporate one of these dragons. 42. Okay, good damage, good damage. You can finish it off. There we go. Ow, Luke. Luke's fine, though. Attack the dragon. Wait. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. I'm, I refuse to miss the dragon. However, I can kill this torch right up here. There we go. Good. No more robots. 
Domingo casting that would be pointless. Have you just walk up? Have the squad walk up with him? He missed. Torch goes after I left. Oh. Ooh, big boy damages. This is fine though. We're in we're in the clear. Oh, he's having his boss come up and replace him. Oh, I see what you're doing. Not today though. Bolt. Come on. Okay, that one's dead. There we go. We got one down. This one's level one HP. Just hit him. Thank you. Two torches down. Have a team stay back here because I need a team to stay alive. Let's see how much damage I could get to him. What? Question mark health? Excuse me? What? How? How? Hmm. This is strange. I don't know what to do here. And it's not like the guides are helping me too, too much. I'm gonna just kill everybody else. See what happens. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay. Claw kills that guy. Or... Oh, I lost the mingle. That's not good at all. Come on. Do you have a health bar yet, Dark Soul? All question marks. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Oh! How much damage did you do? 92! That means that dude has triple digit health. Holy Jesus. Okay, that was some good damage, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, Dark Souls gone. Easy. Dark Dragon, with my dying breath, I summon you. Arise, Dark Dragon! Yes, at last. You are awakening. I offer myself to you, Dark Dragon. Use my power to help you cast off your bonds! That's not fair. You are free once more! Let all of Rune tremble! I die fulfilled! Cringe, fools! Oh, God. Dang it! Dark Dragon has arrived. And we just gotta go straight into the battle. At least we're healed. I have no ranged fighters though, is the problem. So you see, this is the best fight to actually farm if you want. At least they healed me up though. Because, yeah, there, there's, there's gonna be an infinite spawn skeleton here. But you can just keep doing that. And just gain EXP forever. Uh, yeah, let's not have a tomb stand right there in his face. That, that sounds like a terrible idea. 36. Oh. Oof. There goes the left. Jesus Christ. Okay, Dark Dragon attacks. 28 damage, okay. Respectable, respectable. But have you met... Gort, the double attacker. Alright, there's one. My question is... I probably should have set Tao onto the side with the squad so she doesn't die. Right, let's attack Dark Dragon again. 22 points of damage. Okay. There we go. One head down. I'd be very careful where I position him now. Another arm skeleton. Actually, wait a minute. Mm, no, I don't need to recall. Let's just kill him. Kill the skeleton. I'll have you stand over here. Oh, okay. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I do have to worry about that middle one. I had to... Oh, woo, dude. <laughs> woo Let's not do that. Okay, he's at 88. We have health numbers. We have numbers. 22. We have some numbers. 42. We have numbers. Oh, God. He's going after a tomb. Oh, God. A tomb lives. Okay, come on. Come on, a tomb. Kill him. No! No, 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 no. God dang it. Oh, I'm losing everybody. Oh, I'm losing everybody. Oh, this is the exact opposite of what I need. Okay. Skeleton down. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I don't think I'm ready for this one. Oh, I'm very not ready. And he's dead. That again. All right. Well, I will do this as best as I can. Let's go ahead and heal. Hopefully, I don't have to fight Dark Soul again. If I don't, then I can maybe squeak this out. All right. Come on. Okay. He's down to 99. We got some numbers. Numbers on the board. Numbers on the board. All right. 42. That's what I wanted to see. 25. Not what I wanted to see, but I'll take it. Oh. He's almost down, boys. Can Aleph maybe do some damage here? Come on. Yes. Okay, Aleph killed him. Yep, they're dragging us. Summon you. Blah, 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 blah. We've already heard the spiel before. We're just going to speed right through it. Dark Dragon's back. Big reveal. Big spook. All right. Skeleton's got to go first. Half damage. See, May, however, I know, or not May, Tao, I know, can one shot him. Boom. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, I need to get up here. I need to have the squad get up here, like, as fast as I can. Okay. Well, what sucks is I still lost Ken, and that's not gonna come back. Alright, I've got Lyle and I've got Hans, which is acceptable replacements. Not dispel. Because now I can just kill you. I'm gonna try and kill the skeleton. Bonk it. There we go. Looks up for some damage. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to put you there yet, because I don't want to aggro you. Musashi, you can stand over here. Seems over here. I'll use a left there for now. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. If Hans is going next anyway, I'll keep a left off of that panel. Keep a left there. Hans can attack from there. One damage, but it's one damage closer. Alright, you're gonna attack a left. What? Excuse me? What did you cast? D Soul level 2? That's not fair. No. No. No, 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 no. None of that D Soul garbage. What do you mean? Finally, some numbers, some numbers. We're getting numbers. Okay, that's fine. You, you do blaze all you want, buddy. Hey, that's cute. That's cute. Let me show you some real attacking, though. Duncan. Come on. Hit a crit. Hit a crit. 70-something. 36. I'll take it. Musashi. Big numbers. 23. Oh, I might be able to do this this time, boys. Dark Dragon. Thought you could beat me. But you ain't. Oh, the big boy slaps. Tao coming in strong. Let's go, Tao. Oh my God, Tao, you you got this. Oh, oh, the big boy slap. 
slaps. The big slaps. Musashi, hang in there, buddy. We got you. All right, one head down. Boom. Got one dunk. Musashi, finish off this one. 25, 25, 22. Okay, respectable. Respectable. I will accept that spell damage. All right, Hans, come on. Double hit. One. Oh, Hans, come on. I was trying to give you the spotlight. I can attack from here. Oh, bye. oh crap. I can't move you. I forgot about that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. That was real stupid. All right, you, you just you just stay. You just stay. You're not allowed to leave. All right, all right, all right. We're going to put you there. I don't want to cast Blaze just for that. We're going to do Blaze level 2, I guess. There. Dark Dragon's dead. All right, we got the last head. Got to hit them big boy numbers. All right. Wait, wait, wait. How far can Gort go? Because if Gort can stand in front... Can you stand in front, Gort? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Because now Luke can get his hit in. Meaning I get more DPS. And Musashi comes in from the other side. Alright, curse. That's fine. Triple the attacks. That's fine. A team's way in the back. You're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to leave. You can move. Almost in range. What if I do it from here? Are you in range? Yes, you are. Please. No numbers on the board yet. I can't hit you from there, though. Oh, God. Oh! Ooh, Tao lives! I lost Musashi, but Tao lives. This is good, this is good, this is good. Oh, we're on the board. We're on the board. We're on the board. We're on the board. Yes! Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on. Oh, 33 points of damage! <gasps> Dark Dragon, take this, boy! Here we go, May with the final attack! Boom! 12 points of damage! Dark Dragon is defeated! No! Wait, wait, wait. let me see that again. <clears throat> No, these beauty creatures cannot defeat the Lord of Darkness. Never! I will not be banished again. The powers of darkness will sustain me! Dark Dragon still lives. Perhaps we cannot kill him. There must be a way. A tomb. Dark Dragon must be sealed away once again, and only you can do it. Use the Chaos Breaker. Drive it through Dark Dragon. Fools, nothing you can do can stop me. I am Dark Dragon, Darkness incarnate. A, a tomb. Stab him with the Chaos Breaker. Jesus Christ, reading that fast. Stab. A tomb, the castle of the ancients is sinking. Let's get out of here. All right, time to bail, boys. But a tomb cannot move. What? A tomb is somehow bound to the Chaos Breaker. A tomb, break free. We won't leave without you. I can't get free, but you won't die with me. A tomb uses aggressive magic to save us, but where is the tomb? That spell's supposed to get us all out of here. Why isn't a tomb here? Why, Nova? I have no answer for you. Perhaps a great hero's soul is needed to guard the seal. Perhaps he must stand as an eternal vigil to prevent Dark Dragon's return. But why did it have to be a tomb? Any of us could have taken his place. I won't believe it. A tomb will come back. I know it. Perhaps a tomb will still come out. Wait, look at the castle. Jesus, why are you reading so fast, game? You're not even letting me give a chance to give them any voices. No, it's gone. The castle and a tomb with it. Oh, man. That's it. He didn't escape. He's gone. I won't believe it. A tomb has saved all of Rune. He has sacrificed he will remain forever. And now, friends, it is time for us to begin the long journey home. I won't believe it. A tomb! I'm assuming she was just crying out his name. Wow. Followed by the murky brine, the castle of the ancients was lost forevermore. The battle over and rune saved. 
the warriors from the Shining Force returned home. Led by Mei, Guardiana was rebuilt and Anri inherited the throne. As for a tomb, he is believed to have perished at the sea along with Dark Dragon. And that is the official ending. But you and I know differently, don't we? Somewhere, evil still stirs in a land that has a need of a hero. And I know that you'll be up to the challenge, Atum. Well, goodbye for now. I have a feeling we'll be seeing you again. Oh, that's crazy. So that's legit the ending of Shining Force 1. Wow. So Atum sacrificed himself. Oh, that's that's what the, the Sky Knights look after they upgrade. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. But that actually makes me a little sad. We lost the tomb. That's a Minotaur. It's pretty cool. We lost the tomb, unfortunately, because he sacrificed himself to keep Dark Dragon sealed. What is that? You actually get magic? That's interesting. I'm gonna have to level you up some more, then. Still, that actually makes me really sad that we lost the tomb in the end of all that. But we do have Shining Force 2 to play. I'll probably play that for sure now because, honestly, this game was amazing. I actually really did enjoy it. Once I got past the whole, oh, it takes 10 million years to get through the game because, you know, honestly, if I was playing something like Sega Genesis, I would not have had the patience for it. Now that I found that there's the fast forward button, oh, the game is fun, like really fun, actually. I've had a lot of fun playing this series. This is easily one of my favorite classics now. For like games that came out in the early 90s easily one of my favorites that's xylo i never got to play a xylo or get xylo because i was stupid and i left the town the chapter was over i was supposed to give them the moon orb and then i could have gotten a werewolf it would have made the game so much easier but i digress i didn't get him i didn't get arthur i didn't get the the guy that was also in the same town as xylo which was a uh, kokichi who's a great flyer and does apparently a tremendous amount of damage. So, it's a shame that I didn't get all those things. Oh, that's Adam, after you upgrade him too, uh, when you promote him. Man, this, I'm definitely gonna replay this game on my own time now just to get all the characters and get all this stuff going because I wanna see how powerful I can get at the end of the game with some of these characters because this story really is timeless. I, I can see why this game is considered, to a lot of people, one of the greatest RPGs ever period hands down it's fun as a classic rpg i'm i just wish a tomb didn't have to sacrifice himself but you know there is shining force 2 for a reason man i wish a tomb could have gotten that final blow there though i really do man that is that is a great ending shot though that is awesome well hello there you look like you're for a long way from home. We don't see many folk in full armor like that. Quite a fancy getup. I have come a long way. Longer than you can imagine. Is that Adam? I must say, you do look pretty tired and, well, your things have seen better days. I'm tired of wandering. I'm looking for a place to settle down and rest. I don't know if this is Adam talking or not. Well, how about right here? Lend your hands to the fields in our village. <gasps> that sounds just like what I need right now. Oh my god, he survived! I work hard and I'm a fast learner. Good, we have a deal then. A tube lives! Folks in the village will be excited to see a new face. I didn't catch your name, what do they call you? Me? You can call me. <laughs> I love how he turns around and looks at the camera. Yo, Sega. Sega, you did it. You did it. You did it well. I respect that. I like that ending. I like that. You you almost had me. I was actually a little upset that he died. But I'm, I'm actually proud of that ending. I like that. All right, guys. That's it. That is the end of Let's Retro Shining Force. I cannot believe I actually made it all the way through the end of that game. A, a piece of my childhood now feels complete because I never 
ever made it past like chapter one of this game when I was a kid. So making it all the way to the end, beating Dark Dragon, it feels amazing. I will never, ever forget this moment. Ugh, that, that, that felt good. I need to save that. I, I'm saving that to its own slot. Oh, that is awesome. All right, that's the end, guys. That's the end of Shining Force 1, but you know, I got this cartridge sitting right here, so we're going to definitely play this at some point. Maybe not the next Let's Retro, but definitely at some point. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro. I don't know what series I'm going to do after Monster Rancher and Shining Force, but I'll do something. Probably from this, maybe if I already have my capture card by then, because I was supposed to have my capture card by now, but unfortunately things have happened in a way that I can't get it right away. But I definitely am switching from the Elgato capture card. I was originally getting the Mark II capture card, but I think I'll go ahead and get with the Avermedia 4K capture card instead. Only because of the fact that the Mark II requires Ryzen 7, and at the moment I only have a Ryzen 5 2600 processor. So I know I'm going to upgrade in November, but I also don't want to postpone recording things that are going to need the capture card until November, because that, that's just a jerk move. So I digress. I'll probably do just Monster Rancher for now and then maybe go back and play some other older games through this emulator for now. And then I'll switch to the console stuff once I actually do get the capture card. Although I am excited for next week though, because that's when Borderlands 3 finally drops. I do also want to play my Monster Hunter, but that'll be once I actually get the capture card going. Because I'll, I'll just be starting straight from the Iceborne DLC. But I digress, guys. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.